How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy. I'm a category manager here at Tech Rentals. Today I'm just going to have a quick look at the Fluke I-900. Uh, very nice piece of kit. This is a very nice piece of gear. In the kit we've got of course the unit, quick start guide, there's the accessory list etc. We have um, under here we've got uh, power supply, spare battery, charger, etc. And um, this neck strap. Okay, when you first get the unit, of course, we'll have to put the battery in. A little bit of a trick. It's, um, you look here, it's just at the top corner of the unit. You need to talk, turn this to the unlock position, get your fingernails under there, and slide this thing out. It just pops out, and there's the battery. So you've just got to make sure it'll only go in one way. And a um, little tag here allows you to pull it in and out. So just pop the battery in, lock it, plastic cap on top, back on again. And um, yeah, that has to be in the, hang on a sec, I've got the tag in the, the road. And put it in place, and then we lock the battery in place. Right, we need to turn the unit on. We push the on switch, we've got to hold it for a couple of seconds. Units turned on, and also I've removed this cover from the back. Okay, there we go. It's up, cancel, sorry. It's come up here. Now, this can produce, uh, it's an air thing, it's going to produce an air leak. Now, if we hold this behind it, um, at the moment, uh, we've got a couple of different modes. I've stuck it to image mode. So if I push that little button there and get a little bit of air, one can see that we're getting, right now if I want to take a photograph of that, I just hit this button and I've captured the image. It's that simple to use. We want to use it in video mode. Again, we come back here. I, I hit the button here and I get a bit of a flow. Now, you can adjust the frequency here that we're Picking up now, you can see that there's a bit of air bouncing off the back here. Oh no, that's actually a reflection because the um, there we go. If we tilt it up a little bit, so we've got the air coming through. Again, if we want to capture video of that, we push the video button and we stop. Bang, we've caught video. Now the most interesting mode that we've got here, when we click on video, we've got leak cue. Now what happens, that's looking for a leak target. Now we might be moving around, lifted up, moving around, looking around an office, looking for an area where we've got an air leak. Now, if I happen to get an air leak in that area, it's found an air leak at 0.2 meters and the scale, leak cue scale is four. Now again, we hold this button down, we've got to hold it for a couple of seconds and then it saves that image. Now, what this does, once we've saved that, we can upload these and this will tell us, we can actually do a quick calculation, and will tell us the volume of that leak and how much that leak is gonna cost us per year, which is very useful. A Couple of the other features on this, I'll just go back and go through, oh, we save, save that, of course. Now, I, now we're, we're still in leak queue mode, but I'll go back to image mode. Now, a couple of things here, we can have a look if we want to. In memory, they're the three things we've caught. Here's the, um, that's the, uh, the LQ, uh, L leak Q mode with the scale. Now, if I had have done the same thing um, quickly at, I'll just get out of this and I'll go back here and we've got the image. Now, I'm gonna hold this a lot further away and I'll just enable this leak Q mode again I'll hold this a lot further away and push it about down about the same. Now notice that the leak Q mode is the same, except that now we're of twice the distance away. So it, it adjusts the level, that leak Q value. Now I'm, it's pretty hard to push the button at a constant rate. But anyway, just go back. We've got these modes back into image mode. We can have a look at what we've captured um, and uh, we can adjust uh, we've got the dB scale, it's automatically scaling on the side here. We can change the frequency at which we're looking at things. We can broaden these frequency out, broaden the bandwidth out. 
etc. So you can look, be around looking at a piece of equipment and you can physically see where it is. This is highly directional stuff. We'll just demonstrate on the car in a minute. And we've got a typical noisy industrial environment. Now it's only just a car engine, I know, but you can't tell where the sound's coming from. You can't tell what's making noise. Now if we shine this thing at it, and we have a look, we can see quite specifically where the noise is coming from. Now we can adjust the frequency to, to pick it up a little more clearly, etc. So it's really powerful. Now if I'll just turn around and just grab that, that image there. There, now what a beautiful report. Absolutely beautiful report, easy to see what's going on. I'll just bring that back. Don't, you can add notes to these, by the way, add extra notes in here. You can take extra photographs, add tags to it, all this sort of stuff. Very powerful piece of equipment and extremely useful around the plant. Thank you.